you guys probably saw where I was riding my bike in here and we ran into some bears. Um, so we're going to go back down in here and we're going to hit the bottom end of this. We're going to take this guy. He's got his trusty rifle. And uh, that's a 6.5. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's kill DB. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can go down here and find the bear. See if they actually are waterproof. Yeah. Have you ever been kissed by a pine needle in your eye? Yeah. 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 Really, really nice. Look at this. Another bear trail coming that way. I don't know why there would be bears in here. This is bear. I know this is bear. Bear. Speaking of which, that's probably bear. Over there.
Well, I'm glad I'm not going that way. <laughs> elk rope. What elk rope? I can even see. Jim Gary coming out of that rhino's butt. Those are red berries. I don't mind the red berries. Does that make you excited? It does. You just can't hide it. I just can't hide it. That one's probably a shooter. I think they're eating those. That big red one. If you look at this bush and just watch it, you'll see it moving every so often. Oh, it's a bird. Yeah, I saw it. But that bush was moving. Get a giant big old black blob coming out of the bushes. Thank goodness it was a cow because I was not ready. <laughs> it made the exact noise that we heard down here. It, it got something stuck in its nose. <laughs> you weren't going crazy. There is something in here. Yeah. <laughs> There's bears in here too, though. We've seen the boot. When it started going though, all I saw was those trees moving. And you pulled up your gun and brought it back down and pulled it back up again. I just saw a black blob and I just... <laughs> it, it, as violent as it was too, I thought it was coming towards us. <laughs> I was a little worried. I was a little worried because you acted a little rattled. So I'd get my gun ready. No, you had it down and up a couple times. <laughs> uh, anyhow.
That's what we heard. Um, is is the, he made that exact same yeah. noise? But that doesn't mean there's not a bear in here. So we'll just keep continuing. Never on. had a cow get me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna pee yourself. <laughs> I was about to shoot it. <laughs> I think we'll just go on through right there. Not after what that cow did to me. <laughs> Chef, clean your shorts. There's no sneaking in. That almost did sound like an elk to me. I haven't seen one elk track in here. Unless there's like a cow that's got horns in there. We already hit the brush. It could be a bear. Sneak in there on him. Yeah. Come on. If you're any kind of hunter, you'd, you'd be able to sneak right into that. It's hard to say what that is. What we were. There's not many cow tracks right here, but there ain't no walking in there and sneaking on There's none of that. So the best we can do is circle it. Okay, we gotta cross this, you guys. What do you think? Does that look pretty sketch? It's only rotten on one side. It's only rotten on one side? <laughs> what do you think? Are you gonna go for it? I don't know if I can balance on that thing. Uh, once you get to the... It's not like it's deep. It's knee deep. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. 
What? No. I do that. <laughs> Just do this. <laughs> I still want to see you go on that log. It's getting me a little tricky right there. What do you mean? A little bait. No. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, you just do it like this. <laughs> Kids nowadays. Can't teach them nothing. Send them to school, buy them books, and they eat the books. John writes, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. In 1 John. And uh, sometimes we allow ourselves to be deceived even when there's a cow. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's an interesting thing that John would say that, and he's talking to Christians, and he's saying, hey, look, if you think that you don't have any sin, then you're lying to yourself. I find it funny that some of our politicians recently came out and said that they don't need to have any kind of um, uh, forgiveness for anything. They haven't done anything wrong. And uh, John would disagree, and I disagree with that. So it's pretty funny how you could be deceived into thinking that there might be for just a split second in your brain you were mm -hmm. deceived and you thought that it might be a bear in front yep. of you and uh because we've been listening to it all along in there we've been sitting all along in there and uh we heard it and it wasn't making cow noises nope. it was making more bear noises i think it was getting stuff stuck in its throat and hacking it out but and then we walked up and <laughs> Uh, we didn't get it on camera. I wish I would have got it on camera because it was hilarious. But um, and that thing exploded out of there yeah. like a bear would have. And Gage was on top of things. I'm um, kind of Barney fifed it just a little, <laughs> <laughs> but he was deceived. And uh, so the reason that we don't want to deceive ourselves is then we take God's um, grace and what He did on the cross for granted. And that's why, you know, here at the Life Outdoors, when we're talking about things, we always want to point you back to Jesus because um, there's a lot of things said about him and a lot of things over the years said about him that aren't true. And, you know, there's still groups out there that say that they don't sin. And uh, that's not the case. If, if it wasn't for God's grace and what he did on the cross, daily we'd all be in trouble. So... That is actually the gospel, is the fact that he paid for all of our sin today and tomorrow. Now, that means the one thing is, as a Christian, though, is your sin grieves you bad. You don't want to sin. And the last thing you want to do is sin. But uh, we still have to rely on his grace. <laughs>